If you're going to use the camera to document a photograph, take a picture of a book or anything like that, uh, what you're going to want to do, a couple things. First, you want to make sure that you fill the entire frame with the subject. So in order to do that, you're going to use the macro mode. So go ahead and press the macro button right here, the left navigation button, and then press it again to select macro. You can wait a second or just hit set to set that. Second, uh, you're going to want to turn the flash off. So press the flash button to choose the flash off position. And this is because when you're so close to a subject, the flash will more than likely uh, overexpose that subject. So you don't want to use flash in this case. If you're working outdoors, you've got uh, your subject in, in a shady spot, but it's a, it's a nice, it's a daylight. You can go ahead and use a lower ISO setting like 80 or 100. Set your ISO by pressing the up navigation button to choose a different ISO. Again, if you're daylight, 80 is fine. Uh, 200 if it's indoors, or maybe even 400 if, it, uh, if it's very, very low lit indoors. The other thing is to set your white balance. Now, in order to do that, go ahead and press the function button. Go ahead and go down until you get to white balance. In my case, you can see it's set to daylight. Again, if you're outdoors, uh, this is fine. You can also use tungsten if you're indoors. Let's say you're at a library and all you have are some uh, pretty weak incandescent light bulbs. So go ahead and use tungsten and increase the ISO up to 400. Um, if it's fluorescent, choose fluorescent. Whatever seems to get you the best color uh, for what you need. Then go ahead and hit function to escape the function menu. Now we have our white balance set. Our ISO is set properly depending on whether it's bright or dark, uh, depending on where you're located, outdoors or indoors. We have our macro turned on and our flash is turned off. Now what you want to do in order to take the picture with macro style pictures, this is very important. Uh, you're going to press the button halfway. You can get as close as you want to the subject in order to completely fill the subject in the frame. Press the shutter button halfway until you see the focusing square has turned green and the camera was, uh, was able to find a focus point. At this point, you can go ahead and press the shutter button the rest of the way to take the picture. Now, if the focus point is not green, if it turns yellow, the camera was not able to find a focus point, and what you should do is first zoom out all the way. You should have the camera zoomed out. You shouldn't zoom in like this. You should zoom out because with the camera zoomed out, uh, you'll be able to focus much, much closer. So go ahead and either back out or get closer physically with the camera and press the shutter button halfway. Again, you want that focusing square to be on something with contrast. So it shouldn't be uh, a blank or a solid color within a picture or uh, a white of a page, but it should be on the text of a page or on some kind of a contrasty area in the photograph. So press the shutter button halfway until the camera can find a focus point. There, it found a focus point. And now you can just press, you can recompose if you need to, and press the shutter button the rest of the way. To find out much more about digital photography and your digital camera, go to lbguides.com.